Hey, what's going on guys? This is Alex from Apri.io and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create your own duties application to manage your team and their tasks using Apri.io template. All of our templates are ready to go and do not require any additional effort, so let's launch it right away and see what this application is all about. Once the duties app is loaded, the first screen you'll see is the login page. From here you can register and restore your password or log in if you are already registered. So let's start with registration. You will have to insert your first and last name, email password, and also confirm the password. And once you are registered, you will be redirected to the app right away. The first thing you'll see once logged in is the groups page. Here you will see the list of groups in which you are either an admin or a member. So let's go ahead and create a new group. You can give it a name and use emails to invite users to join that group. Users will receive an email and a notification. If they are not currently registered in the Duties app, they will receive an email letting them know that they were invited to the group and that they should install the app. Once the app is installed, they will receive a notification. Over here there is a bell that indicates that there is an invite. So tapping on the icon will open the related page and from here users can either join the group or dismiss the invite. If decided to join, the group will be added to the list under the My Groups member. Let's tap on the group in the list and see what's inside. At the moment the duties board is empty and you can see an image indicating that there are no duties assigned to a current user. So let's add a duty. The duty consists of its name, description, assigned user and a due date. Since we've joined a group as a member, we can create and mark as done only our personal duties. An admin, however, will be able to create duties for himself and the group members. Once all of the required fields are filled, we can click Add and now the duty is displayed on the board. Members can mark this task as done by selecting the checkbox and the admin can delete this task by swiping right, tapping on the trash icon and confirming the delete action. There is also a left panel where users can select the needed filter from the list. Now let's go back to the groups page and see how an admin can manage them. If an admin swipes left, there are two options. Either delete the group or edit it. Delete option is quite obvious, but the edit option allows you to edit the name of the group, invite new users and edit existing members list. And that's all I wanted to show you about the duties app itself. But now let's transition back to the Apri.io visual editor. Here are some of the ways you can customize this template to make your duties application unique. The first thing you might want to do is to change text. In order to do so, click on the text that you want to change and navigate to the right panel. Here you can find the text section in which you can set any needed text. The second thing you might want to do is change the logo. In the previous templates we demonstrated how to change the default logo and use one of your own. This time we have prepared multiple images that would fit the theme that you've selected. So now you can just select the theme that you like the most and the logo will be adjusted correspondingly. You can obviously still use your own logo and create your own theme. To learn how to do that, check the link in the description box. Now let me show you where and how to work with the emails body and subjects. For that click on the server code tab, then select duties settings from the libraries list. In here you can find settings related to the emails and you can easily change body, subject and even related links. Once your application will be published to the App Store and or Google Play, you might want to change the links that lead to your application. You can do that by changing these links over here. The last thing you might want to do is to export your application and try it on your own device. You can do that through an export feature where you can select either Android or an iPhone format. Let's select .ipa. As you can see, the application started building the IPA. Please note that for the successful app export, you need to first import the certificates. Here in the App Settings, iOS Binary, in Distribution Certificate and Provisioning Profile section. Once your project is generated, you will see the QR code that you can use to easily upload your application to your own device. To learn more about how to export your application, including iOS and Android certificates, please follow the link in the description. 
And in the end, let's review how this application will look like on a real device. These are just a few ways how you can customize and work with the template. To learn more about the Apri.io platform and its features, visit our website or find more videos on our YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications, and thank you for watching.